You know, I've been a Seventh-day Adventist Christian all of my life, which is a pretty long time, several decades. And um, it's been an interesting journey, one that um, honestly has had its ups and downs. Um, but always, I have always had a deep desire to really have a closer walk with God. And sometimes when I think about that, it's just a really um, hard thing for me to um, explain because one might say, but you've been a Christian all your life. Um, so what what's the challenge? I guess the challenge is keeping that relationship, just keeping that walk with, with God. Um, it's easy to go to church and hear a great sermon and you, you leave and you feel um, invigorated and revived and enthusiastic. And the next day, um, something happens and some challenge, um, you experience some challenge in your life and um, things happen, um, routines take over, and it's hard to keep that, that, that pace of, of, um, of that close walk with God. So what I've found is that I had to make my devotional time a sacred place, a private place with God. And for me, that place is, is to um, wake up and first thing, before I even get out of bed, I begin talking to God. Now, of course, I have to be honest, you know, sometimes um, it goes between sleep and, and talking to God. But I challenge myself to get up every morning and, and just begin talking with God. And once I start that, um, God actually starts talking back to me. And I'll get up and I'll start reading my Bible. So I've found that just um, opening my Bible, just getting a good study Bible, that has really been very helpful to me. Getting a study Bible that where you have references and you can start um, studying different texts and understanding what they mean. And believe it or not, what I have found is that God begins to reveal himself in such an incredible and awesome way that the next day I can't wait to open my Bible and talk to God. Having a wonderful devotional is also helpful. Um, but the most important thing for me has been to just not start my day without talking to God and without spending those very precious moments in the morning. And I don't want to make this sound like it's an easy thing, because if you're like me, um, I'm not a morning person. But um, I know that as my day goes by, if I'm not in tune with God, if I'm not connected with him, if I don't get that, that, that boost in the morning, um, my day just goes awry. So it's really been helpful for me to just have that, that morning cup of tea, if you will, with Jesus Christ.